What's going on guys? Thank you once again for checking out my YouTube channel. This is Ramsey's Principe aka MI Fitness and today we're going to be working out in the beautiful outdoors here on South Beach. So stay tuned as I'm going to be going through today's entire high intensity full body workout. So let's get to work. Alright guys, so let's get to today's workout. First exercise of the day, we're going to start with the close grip pull-ups. As you guys are going to notice with this exercise, we're using the close grip row to help us target that mid pack. So we're super setting this exercise directly into push-ups. We're going to go from your pull-ups, every single set we're going to be doing to burn out. So as many as you can, depending on your level of expertise, whether it's 3 pull-ups, 10, 20, 30, 50, as many as you can do without stopping. You're gonna do your pull-ups and go straight into push-ups. Push-ups, we're gonna keep it at 20. These are gonna be supersets. For each exercise we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be doing four to five reps since we're doing mostly everything is body weight. So second routine of the day, we're gonna start, we're gonna go from dips straight into knee tucks. I love incorporating dips into my full body exercise as they target not only your triceps, they target your chest, your core, and your shoulders, which is a great exercise for a full overall body workout, which we're trying to achieve today. So we're going to be doing, once again, four, four to five sets of each exercise, performing as many reps as we can. So I usually got to, like to go between 10 to 20 for the dips, really focusing, getting a nice stretch of your chest as you're coming on the way down, and then getting a nice squeeze of your tricep on the way up. We're going to go directly, which means we're not stopping from our dips. We're going to go straight into the knee tucks. The knee tucks, you want to engage those upper and lower abs. Make sure to get a full stretch of your abs as you bring them down. And tuck them all the way up, squeeze them, and slowly control them as you bring them down to fully get them nice and engaged and build those abs that we want to get for the summer. Because what else are we training for? All right, so that was the second routine that we that we did today. After that, we're gonna go into reverse pull up. Like I said, today we're doing mostly a full body exercise, so since we're working outdoors. We're in, in, focusing on doing a lot of pull ups, a lot of big muscle groups, to target as much muscle as we can and bring the most amount of calories to today's full body workout. So we're going to be doing our reverse pull-ups, like I said, four to five rep sets with as many reps as you can. And it's all going to be based on your level of expertise, whether it's 5, 10, 15, 20. Stick to what you can, just always make sure to push yourself as much as you can. We're going to go from the pull-ups straight into a, a hanging cross, cross legs. So cross knee tucks, trying to engage the obliques, the upper abs, lower abs, side abs. We're engaging the complete abs with this simple exercise. Like I said, we're super set we're going directly from our pull-ups straight into the crossover knee tucks. So we're going to be doing this for four sets. Like I said, it's back-to-back, -back, trying to keep the intensity as high as possible in order to burn the most amount of calories in a short amount of period. We're going to, we're going to do this four to five sets, and then we're going to go straight into the ropes. I love incorporating ropes as high-intensity routines during outdoor workouts. That's a great overall full-body workout. Not only do you engage your core, so train your shoulders, you train your arms, your legs, pretty much a full body workout and it gets your heart rate going really fast, which means we burn a lot of calories. So for the rope, we kept it at six reps, six rounds. Each round is going to be 20 seconds, meaning we're going to keep breaking between each set to 40 seconds. So this should only take you no more than six minutes as each work and rest is only going to take you a minute in total. In the sand, we focus on doing a lot of lateral drills, focus on quick feet. Uh, like I said earlier, today we're doing full body high intensity exercise, so we're keeping intensity high at all times, working on those quick feet in order to get faster and beat all you guys on the track. So first exercise we did was with the ladder, we did a little lateral movement, working on quick feet. As you guys are going to notice in the video, we're focusing on going side to side while keeping our toes in and out the boxes as fast as we can while controlling and engaging our core, legs, arms, and back at the same time as we perform this exercise. This we did for eight rounds, as you guys noticed in the video. It's not such an intense exercise, so we built it up to a higher amount of reps and shorter amount of rest time in between. For this, we kept the rest in between each set to only 20 seconds. So we did eight rounds with 20 second rest in between going back and forward. After we did the ladder, we moved into a lateral, lateral sprints suicide we're pretty much just suicide with the cones as you guys are going to notice we had five cones you're going to start right in the middle you're going to go sprint as fast as you can to the first cone to your right sprint right back into the first cone to your left and then we're going all the way to the last cone on the right and we're going to sprint as fast as you can without stopping to the last cone on the left and you're going to go all the way back to the last cone on the right so you're pretty much doing one two three four five sprints 
and that's going to be one suicide for this. This is another high intensity exercise, really focusing on keeping your core tight at all times and keeping the short break, not more than a minute between each run as we're going to be doing six minutes of this once again. It's a great exercise to work on your quick feet, work on engaging that compression. and always pushing yourself to the limit. That's what it's all about and that's the only way we're going to progress and reach the body that we're really trying to achieve. So after we finish with the lateral movement, we're going to finish it off with some straight up sprints. With the sprints, we're doing 50 yard sprints, focusing on keeping the intensity and giving 100% effort each and every sprint. With the sprints, we did eight rounds. Eight rounds for 50 yard sprints with a minute break in between. I really want you guys to focus when doing the sprints in the sand. It's very important to watch where you're stepping you don't want to hurt your ankles it's very dangerous to spread in the sand but at the same time it's a very good way to push your body past new limits and make it engage more and overall full body as you're doing your sprints which is a little bit more than you would at a regular track so like i said guys so this full body workout was all about training your entire body keeping the intensity high at all times and performing high intensity cardio exercises in between your full body weight training exercises in order to like I said today's such a beautiful day so why not take advantage and just take it outdoors remember guys it's all about changing the atmosphere making your body adjust to new movements adjust to new locations new exercises you gotta keep your, you gotta keep having your body guess and adapt to new movements that's the only way we're gonna progress and get better and make better results so I hope you guys give this workout a try Make sure to tag me. Keep checking out all my YouTube channel. Make sure to click the link below and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm going to be bringing guys more weekly content. And thank you once again for checking out my YouTube channel. Love you guys. And